Beyonce reveals why she always hated Kim Kardashian. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. We all know the long-standing feud between Jay-Z and Kanye, but the lesser-known fact is that the feud was because of the rivalry between Beyonce and Kim. Well, some of you might be knowing this if you keep yourself updated. However, if you don't, don't worry. In this video, we'll tell you why Beyonce hates Kim and can't even stand her. Yes, it has finally been revealed that she hates Kim so much. Reportedly, Jay-Z and Kanye have ended their long-standing feud, but Beyonce and Kim? Huh, <laughs> no way. The feud between the two rappers can be traced back to when Kanye initially chose Jay-Z as his best man. Yes, the whole thing started there, and things really got heated up when Kanye called out Jay-Z for not visiting him and his wife Kim after her parents' robbery. Well, we're going to tell you the very details about the whole thing about Beyonce and Kim, so make sure to watch until the end. As we said, Jay-Z and Kanye fell in the first place because Beyonce couldn't stand Kim. But now the situation has completely changed, as Kim and Kanye West are no longer together. According to reports, Jay-Z and Kanye have reconciled the matter after Kim and Kanye broke up. Earlier, Beyonce and Jay-Z used to be very close friends and collaborators with Kanye until he started dating Kim. This was the time when things started to change. Once Kim got engaged with Kanye, Jay-Z and Beyonce started to distance themselves from Kanye. This was only because Queen B hated Kim so much that Jay-Z had no other option but to cut Kanye off. You must be knowing that Kanye was so interested in Beyonce that he stormed the stage at the 2009 MTV Music Awards and interrupted Taylor Swift and her acceptance speech to defend Queen B. After Kanye got married to Kim, fans noticed that there was a sudden change in Kim's style. Speculation suggests that Kanye was the one who asked her to do so and looked like Beyonce. Just after Kim changed her hair color to blonde, Almost every fan accused Kanye in reports also came out that Kanye wanted to make her look like B. It seems like Kanye couldn't stand Jay-Z and Beyonce being the power couple and wanted to replace them with him and Kim. Radar Online source reported that Kanye told Kim that they're going to be more powerful than Jay-Z and Beyonce. At the 2012 BET Awards, all of them were sitting together in a row. However, Beyonce was the one who was least interested to be in the group. Throughout the show, Jay-Z and Kanye continued to chat and laugh with each other but Beyonce didn't even want to pretend that she was friends with Kim. In the show, Jay and Kanye won the Best Video Award. Following this, as you can clearly see in this clip, it looked like poor Kim wanted a hug from Beyonce, but Beyonce didn't even acknowledge her presence. But that gesture of Beyonce is nothing when compared to what she did with Kanye and Kim on their marriage day. Days before their marriage, it was said that Jay-Z will be the best man when he marries Kim. Daily Mail source reported that Beyonce had to think about it, at the last minute because she didn't really want to go. But I think Jay-Z's the best man, so he's kind of making her go. But at the final moment, Beyonce and Jay-Z didn't even go to their wedding, and so Kanye's manager had to step in as the best man. That's not all. Beyonce also disrespected Kim and Kanye by sharing a photo of her on vacation at the exact time of the wedding. It seemed like she wanted to know everyone that she had other important things to do than to attend Kanye and Kim's wedding. Kanye also called up Beyonce during his St. Pablo tour, and claimed that she refused to perform unless she won the video of the year over him. Kanye then addressed Jay, saying, Jay-Z, call me, bro. You still ain't call me. Jay-Z, call me. Jay-Z, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Remember the Paris robbery that left Kim Kardashian traumatized? She was held at gunpoint and robbed inside her building. How can anyone not remember this incident even? After the incident, Kim was keeping a low profile, but she really needed emotional support. Beyonce and Jay-Z didn't even visit them, after the Paris robbery, and for this reason, Kanye slammed Jay-Z on stage. West shouted on stage, Don't call me after the robbery and say, how you feeling? You wanna know how I'm feeling? Come by the house, bring the kids by the house, like we're brothers. Other than that, one source also reported that Queen B doesn't let Blue go on playdates with North. This can be related to Beyonce hating Kim, and apparently, that is the reason why he doesn't let her play with Kim's. However, later Kanye West reportedly reached out to Jay-Z to make amends. Kanye allegedly wanted to meet in person with Jay to discuss their feud and hash things out. However, it's unclear if the meeting ever happened. So what are your views on the feud between Beyonce and Kim? Do let us know about it and share your impressions in the comment section down below. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.